Hello and welcome. This is a 45 minute or so uh, Tabata workout. Um, it's a bit of a triple threat today. So what that means is I'm stacking 20 seconds, 20 seconds and 20 seconds on top of each other, uh, working into a bit of a superset. Uh, have fun, do what you can, rest when you need to. Um, I'm Meg, I'd appreciate it if you jump on and like and subscribe if you enjoy it, helps me to help you. Uh, and let me know in the comments how you found this today. Again, I'm filming this at the beautiful Redhead Wellness Century, um, which is due to open soon. It is not long now, so December 1st. So looking forward to there are some amazing, amazing things going on here, including an infrared sauna that is coming into the place. So jump on, they've got some amazing membership deals uh, coming your way uh, as of December 1st, but you can jump on them now. Um, but it's just going to be epic when we reopen. We are so excited. And thank you so much to our members for all your beautiful support over this time. We so are grateful for you all. Let's start with a bit of a warm up, everyone. So we're just going to stand and take our time to bring our feet hip distance apart and just start to warm up through the hips. Just noticing how you feel in your body today. So this doesn't have to be a big circle, but I want you to grip on with your feet. Taking some time to feel into your hamstrings, your outer hips, your low back. Noticing if there is any tightness or tension, just changing directions for me guys. Like any movement patterns or workouts or whatever uh, you're doing it is so important to listen to you. I'm definitely feeling it today. Uh, beautiful. Let's do some uh, lateral circles here. So working in the frontal plane. Um, we're coming into a different body every single day, right? We've done different things through the week. I've got back into my training and I'm definitely feeling it everywhere. So, you know, when I filmed the sequence this morning, I really had to modify it for my body today. And it's never about judging it or going, oh, I did all this last week, why can't I do this week, change direction? It's actually just about appreciating it for what it is right now. Um, and letting go of all of that. Um, if you are feeling a bit of tightness or stickiness or tension, that's okay. You do the best for you, you rest as you need to. That is what is important more than anything you to do best. Perfect guys, let's bring one foot up, standing on the right foot, so rotate through that left ankle joint. Nice and slow. Change direction, don't rush this, we're trying to get a sense of smoothness and fluidity into the joint. Let's stay on that same leg and do some hip circles here, we'll go three circles one way. And three circles back the other. Keep your eyes steady while you're doing this. Change sides, ankle rotations. Change direction. And keep that foot up and we're going to hip circle. So nice and slow, move around the hip joint. Change direction, you can always hold on to something if you need, but try as often as possible to do this with no hands. Perfect. Let's come down to our hands and our knees, fingers spread wide. Let's just move through our spine a little bit. Any direction here is fine. So taking this minute or so to just move intuitively through the body. Tuck your toes. Move laterally. Explore back bends if that feels good for you. Maybe you shut down your eyes and just come into your breath. Three more breaths. Get into the elbow joints a little bit if you can too. 
All right, from tabletop position, step the right foot forward, bring the right hand up, and then step it back, come into crouch. Left foot forward, left hand lifts, come back into crouch. Just a couple more of these. We'll go two more and then we're going to find our way into a squat. So this time we're going to step that right foot forward and just land yourself into some sort of a squat, move it around a little bit, get into the hips and maybe you open up each side, maybe you don't, that's up to you. Spend another five breaths here. We should be spending about five minutes here a day. If you're not, start to practice it. And you can do minute increments or 30 second increments here and there, elbows on the inside of the knees. And this is working to some frogs, warming up those hamstrings. So head goes down, bum goes up. All right, we wanna keep a soft knee bend. So starting to get into that posterior chain. We're gonna go for five more. Find a forward fold, bend your knees a lot, like enough so that your belly can touch your thighs. Notice how good this feels. Push through the heels and slowly pull belly to spine and roll up through your spine. Bring the arms out wide. From here, bend the knees, we're gonna round the upper back, chin to chest, we're gonna inhale open. So exhale, close and squat, inhale, open. We've just got eight more. So use your breath here, warming up through the shoulders. Nice big uh, open chest. You don't have to back bend if that's not for you. But if you would like to put a little back bend into it, feel free to open the heart. Three, two, and one. Nice work, guys. Bit of a shoulder roll. Back the other way. All right, shake it out. Let's get ready to move. All right, guys, so warm up is done. Um, we are going to go straight into it today. Um, with this one, it's a 20, 20, 20, so which means 20 seconds of work, 20 seconds of work, 20 seconds of work, and then we rest for 40, right? We are starting off with a squat sequence. We'll be using the block, the heels will be on the block, it is elevated. So we want to make sure the knees and ankles in alignment. We then want to tuck the tailbone under, right? So think a sad dog through that tailbone. If you would like to use weight, you're more than welcome. Keep tailbone tucked, and we're coming down for a squat. The second part of the movement is we stay in bottom halves. The third part, we hold. Cool? So we're going to set it up. We are going to go in about 10 seconds. You are more than welcome to hold on to a kettlebell or a weight. We have three rounds. Right, this is our triple threat to Bada to finish off a really, really beautiful four months of online movement here at Redhead Wellness Century. All right, guys, let's get ready to start. I just gave you 20 seconds instead of 10. We're going in three, two, and one. So working into that block squat. Tailbone tucks under, slowly moving through. This is round number one. And do not get me wrong, this is going to cook your legs. And we have one minute of work for each one of these sets in 20 seconds. So doing a drop set into our squat pattern. Four, three, two, bottom half pulses. Here we go. Stay low, pulse. Engage through your inner thighs. Tuck the tailbone under. Ten. Try to relax your face. Three, two, one, hold. 20 seconds hold here if you need to. You can always bring it up a little bit if those legs are absolutely cooking. You do you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That is one round. We rest. Yowch. <laughs> two more rounds to go. So do whatever you need to do here. Just don't leave. 
Right, again, up to you if you want to use a weight. I'm most definitely not going to. I did some leg action yesterday, so they are a little bit cooked. So always important to listen to your body, right? How it is in every single moment, every single day. Here we go, round number two, three, two, one. Working through the squat. So slowly down and slowly up. You can go a bit quicker if you want to. If you're using a kettlebell or a weight, you can slow it down more. That's your choice, your workout, not mine. Four, three, two, bottom half pulses. Again, they don't have to be super deep. But if you want to put your legs in the cooker, then that's completely up to you. Go there, challenge yourself. We've got 10 more seconds of these and a hold. Then one more round. All right, guys, three, two, one, drop hold. 20 seconds. So keeping that time under tension, like really just feeling the muscles fire up here. I know it's challenging, but can you sit in it? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Whew. One more set only of this one. Then we're gonna uh, move into a little bit more of a cardio and move around. So your legs are gonna definitely feel it, I'm not gonna lie. We're going in 15 seconds for the last round. Okay. Alright team. Four, three, two and one. Working through those squats. I really want you to feel your abductors, your inner thighs draw together and squeeze here. Ten seconds. All right, three, two, bottom half pulses. We've got 40 seconds left of this squat sequence. Eight. Guys are doing so well. My legs are cooking. Really feeling this. All right, drop and hold. 20 seconds. Last one, just do your best. That tailbone still tucked slightly if you can. So belly drawing to spine. Find length in the lumbar. Five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna need some space. Just moving anything out of the way that is not necessary. Right now, grab a drink. Okay, the next one that we're gonna be working towards Right, is a side shuttle, but we're going to add a little bit of a jump into it. Right, so it's going to look something like this. We're going to side shuttle and then up. Side shuttle and up. Side shuttle and up. So we're getting a little bit of a jump in there as well. You can do this with more energy or you can step it and you can even keep your feet on the ground. Cool? We then take out the jump and from that one we then move into what's called our skater. So again, you can step it or put a little bit more energy and you can jump. All right, so again, three rounds, 20, 20, 20. We are gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. So step, shoot, step, shoot. Up to you how big you make this movement. Almost like you're shooting a basketball hoop, get a Nice jump there if it feels good in your body. If not, keep it at a lower gait and stay right here. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna take the jump out and possibly bring it down to the ground now. Now, if that doesn't work for you, feel free to just stay up here. But if you can reach, touch down to the ground, keep going for five, four, three, two, Skater now, the foot goes behind. All right, if you want to keep it a little bit kicked back, stay at this pace. All right, leg behind, no need to jump. On the next two and three rounds, I'll add the jump in. Three, 
two, one. Rest. So again, we are just working into that drop set. Similar move, we just take off an element. 20 seconds. So step and shoot is the first one. Alright guys, five seconds. Three, two, one. So jumping is like seriously so good for our bones. And it feels really nice in the body too. Land soft, jump high. Five, three, two, one. Now up to you. If you want to put that little touch down, it's going to cook the legs a little bit more. So feet just jumping side to side, no skating yet. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Working into that skater lunge. Now if you want to, you can jump. Side to side. Those legs are cooked. Keep it pulled back a little bit. Seven. Oh, it's Alan. Ouch. Woo. Ah. One more. Then I promise me we we're going to upper body. 20 seconds. Step and shoot. Five. Three, two, one. Again, this is option one, staying in that tabletop position. 
Stay pulsing here. I know this is challenging. If you need to come up, come up a little bit and then go back down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, drop down and pull. All right, do your best here. Just breathe. Belly the spine, keep the tension. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Shake out your wrist, guys. About 30 seconds, we go again. Well done. I know this one is challenging. You just do your best. Even if you get out eight seconds or ten seconds in each one and rest. Perfect. Um, the push out is such an amazing exercise that we should all be doing a lot of. It's a movement, bent arm strength. But if we ever need to pull ourselves out of the pool quickly or jump over a fence to rescue or run away from something, we need to know how to use this. All right, let's give it a go again. Round number two, I'll go into the second variation. Feel free to stay with the first. Three, two, one. We want to make sure if you're here that the hips don't drop down. So we don't want to worm our way into it or worm our way out. We want to maintain that tuck of tailbone if possible. Four, three, two, one. Bottom half pulses. So squeeze the belly to the spine. So even if it's like, I don't know, adding your seven little bottom half pulses and you come back up and go again, perfect. Four, three, two, drop and hold. Three. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. We've got one more round. You're doing really, really, really well, everyone. These are hard. So, just do your best. Is that even if it's 10 seconds and you rest, I'll probably be doing that too. Because my body has been so cooked from coming back in and it's not about overdoing it, it's about listening to the body and what we need. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Slow push-ups. Try to get full range. Ten. Four. Three, two, and one. Got a pass. Again, maybe split it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, drop and hold. Remember, bring it back to here if you need to. Totally fine. Ten. Four, three, two, one. Come down to your bellies. And we're coming to a sphinx pose. Take some really deep breaths here. Just breathe into the spine, take the rest, enjoy the rest. So I'm moving now to a lunge sequence. And again, if you would prefer to work more strength, you can hold on to a dumbbell, which I'm probably gonna take that option today. I'm not gonna take the cardio option, my legs are cooked. So feel free to stay in your seat pose a little longer. It's going to look like this. So with the lunges, I'll show the strength variation first. So we're on the tripod of the front foot. If you're unsure what the tripod is, I have many separate videos on the tripod of the foot um, and a foot workshop if you are interested to learn more about the feet, the hips, and the glutes and how they're all intertwined. But we want 60% of the heel, 40% of the ball of the foot. Back foot steps back. If you are just working the strength version, you are just doing a static lunge today. Right, so working in nice and powerful through that front foot. If you want a more cardio or plyometric option, you'll be stepping that back foot back, 
and then lifting the knee up. All right, I don't mind what you do. Maybe if you one round strength, maybe one round plyometric, that's up to you. I might even give those plyos a go, but she didn't feel too bad. We do the right and then the left, and then we come down and we're gonna do a squat start. So we actually come down through squat together and then down through squat, cool? So don't worry if you don't get the arms and legs coordinated, just have fun with it. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. So set it up, I'm gonna start with the strength round, but I'll probably move into cardio in the second and third. So right foot forward, your choice. Here we go, three, two, one. So you're either working through those little plyometric jumps on the right side or into just a static single leg lunge. Really work through that tripod of the foot. We utilize that so that the knee and ankle are in alignment. Four, three, two, one. All right, so the muscles on the inside of our feet have started to collapse due to wearing shoes. You're also sitting in chairs, you're going to find that the knee is going to immediately rotate in, which in turn is going to eventually cause massive issues for the knee, the hip, and the spine. Four, three, two, one. Start down like this, up together. 20 seconds of these. You can also step them, you do not have to jump them. 10. Four, three, two, one. Cool, so two more rounds of that. You can either stay with that strength variation onto the lunge, how do you dumbbell? Or you can do the plyometric version. So I'll demonstrate the plyo version this time. All right, guys, we're going in eight. Right foot forward. Three, two, one. Doesn't have to be done quick, but I want you to think of a good little jump here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, change. So you can still do this pretty low if you're coming into these jumping lunges. Maybe for the first or second time, take it a little slower and just do a little bit of jump up. But if you're regular to this, feel free to pop a real and jump at the top. Three, two, one, down. Work through these squat stars. Nearly there, guys. Doing so well. Four. Three, two, one. There's one, one more round of that. And then we hit up go. I'm gonna get back to a weighted lunge. You can do what you want. Go on to 10. It's really, really important to always listen to your body every time that you move. All right, off we go, guys. It's different in every, I'm oh, sorry, we're keeping the foot there. It is different every single day you come to train. All right, it's up to you and no one else to listen. All right, maybe back it off a little bit like what I'm doing today. All right, maybe go for it. Maybe that's what you need, but it's only you who is going to know that. Five, four, Three, two, one, change. 20 seconds. If you're in that static lunge, drive from that front heel. Do what you need 
thing to do. So there's two options for this first one. So we're going to do a kick through. When we do a kick through, you can keep your bum on the ground like so. So what will happen is we tuck the toes, I hover up into a turbo cat, I lean my body to the left, so I lift the left hand and I'm going to sit the right hip down, left hand off the ground, right hand is still connected. I spin back, turbo cat, I then turn to the right, sit the left hip down, right hand lifted, left hand down. Therefore we get a feel for the twist in the body, returning back to turbo cat every single time or beast, it doesn't matter what it's called, but it's just elevated uh, tabletop position. If you want a little bit more, you keep the foot off the ground, you kick the foot through, flexing the foot, back to turbo cat, twist, flex the foot, kick through, right? So you squeeze the quad. We then come over into a hollow body hold. Option one, knees over hips, hands either on uh, hamstrings or by the side, Chin off chest, option two, extend out, option three, arms out. The next one we're going to work into is a tuck up. You've got a choice. You can either stay in that hollow body position and just work into some little tuck ups so you don't have to extend the legs out into a hollow. Or if you're wanting some more straight arm strength, then you will bend the knees back, tuck up, step back tuck up and step back. It's going to be up to you. It's our last round. We have four minutes. We're going to go on the top of the clock. So we have 30 seconds. This is a big set, I'm not going to lie. But she's going to choose to do those uh, tuck ups at the end. So have fun. This is it. Enjoy the sweat. Enjoy feeling playful. This is what this round is all about. And we want to really feel that belly draw to the spine working compression. We are starting with our kick throughs in five, four, three, two, one. I'll start on the first variation. So I twist, I drop my hip to the ground, come back through turbo cat, which means knees under hips and wrists under shoulders. So you're getting a feel for the foundation of the movement. Five, four, three, two, one, find your version of hollow body. Option one, knees over hips, chin off chest, shoulders off ground, belly to spine, every vertebra pressing down. If you want more, point the toes and squeeze the quads. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Now, maybe you go straight into the supine tuck ups. That's totally fine. So I'm gonna stay for this first round. Right, if that feels too much for you, no worries. Just work the crunch. Totally cool. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we have two more rounds. I'll go into those other variations in these rounds. We're not going for 20 seconds, so we're coming back to the kick throughs. This is it, guys. This is absolutely it. Doing really, really well. Alrighty, let's set up those kick throughs. Either stay with the variation I just did, or you will allow the foot to come through and flex. Off we go. Whatever you do though, you're coming back to that turbo cat position. So you want the shoulders over your wrists the whole time. Really nice one for rotation. Working absolutely everything here. Four, three, two, one, hollow body hold. Remember option one or two or option three. Breathe, 10. We wanna keep that spine on the ground, we're in a dish position. Four, three, two, one. You're either in those four tuck ups or working straight up. Oh, my are caught. <laughs>
We're going in 10. We're going to kick through this, guys. Last set. Yeah, everything you got last minute here. Four, three, two, one. You've got it. Feel free to add a little bit more pace. Five, four, three, two, one. Set up your hollow body. So thank you so much everyone. Again, Redhead Wellness Century is open from December 1st. Um, we are really looking forward to it. We appreciate all your support over this time. We are so, so grateful for you all. Have yourselves the most amazing day. Let me know in the comments how you found that. And we will look forward to seeing you in person here at Redhead Wellness Century.